Oh, Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and we are back again for a second monthly favorites. That's right, two months, not failing, at least so far. I have some slightly more exciting faves, I think, because I planned it better, because I was like, okay, month number two, let's not just talk about stretching. Let us jump right into it with some fun, thrifted spring fashion faves. Last month I didn't have a lot in the like fashion department and fashion is definitely, probably, definitely, probably my biggest passion in life. You might remember in last month's in the January favorites, I said that Steve and I went thrifting once and I got some cute things, but they were in the wash. Out of the wash they did come. Here they are for you now today. Um, this jacket actually became one of my main little staple pieces that I've been wearing this month. This is a Denver Haze medium size pink corduroy quilted spring jacket. I got this at my local value village. Unfortunately, we don't really have much in the ways of picking for thrift stores here. I know Value Village, aka Savers, is not like the greatest company, but it's pretty much what we have here other than Salvation Army, which I'm definitely not supporting. This mother frigger, honestly, I'm pretty sure this was like $24.99, which is also kind of crazy for a thrift store, but is it ever a nice quality, perfect for me, nice fitting spring jacket though? We just got uh, 30 centimeters of snow again in like a giant uh, snowstorm last Friday, so maybe not anymore. But a few days before that, when it felt like summer, um, this was great. And I also uh, picked up the shirt that I'm wearing, that I'm actually wearing in this video for the first time. I will not tell a lie. But oh my gosh, this is such a fun, flowy little number. It fits me. It's just like the nicest fabric that I feel like I'm so free, ever so free. I tried to look for a label inside that would tell me what it was made of. Actually, I wonder if this is handmade because there's like no labels at all. I wonder actually if this is handmade because learning about the textiles labeling act, like you kind of have to label things for them to be sold. I don't know, but it's really, really nice and I really love the fabric. Oh, hi, Nini Queen. Cake time? We'll see if she enters that cake. I'm going to continue. Anyway, yes, happy little lightweight blouse situation. Pink X Lavender X Grandma pattern comfy time. And the other thing that I picked up in the thrift store that visit was actually from Ye Yonder Baby Textiles section. I want the ability. I, it can't be that impossible because if you can make clothes from fabric, could I not take a chunky, like I don't know how to knit, but I just wanna turn this into a cardigan so bad. Do I just cut out? No, cause if I cut out the pattern pieces out of this and then just try to like knit them together at the shoulders and side seams, wouldn't the pieces just unravel if you chop it up cause it's knitted? I don't know. Please tell me down below how I can turn this into a beautiful garment because like, it's so fun. Can I please? Get a hands up in the comments for y'allsts that are excited for Animal Crossing. New Horizons! Oh my god, so I'm just going to say the Animal Crossing aura energy that has been in the air on the internet and in real life. I was in sewing class this week and I heard a teacher's assistant speak to like the technician being like, did you see the Animal Crossing direct? I'm sorry I overheard that. And yes, I did interject and talk about how exciting it is that you can move the water and the land. You can break rocks. My most, oh, the thing I'm most excited to play around with honestly, is the face paint feature. I saw that little uh, pencil icon in like the character customization and I was so certain that it would just be information where you input like your name or whatever, where maybe you can edit certain like just settings, like a settings icon. But no, it is in fact draw all over your face. Oh, little flowers, bitch, little stars, little moons, little heart blush, little rainbow. I literally had bunting stickers under my eyes this morning, connecting like from the wing to here. It was giving me kind of a weird shape, so I took it off, but like my Animal Crossing character could test that out for me. <sighs> okay, Animal Crossing. Although I am a bit of a poser in this sense, I didn't grow up, like grow up, grow up with any of the cool stuff that I'm into now. <laughs> 
all this cool stuff with my amazing immaculate taste. I didn't actually watch things like Sailor Moon or Card Captors or play Pokemon or play Animal Crossing until I was in like middle school. So, you know, still a baby, still grew up, but I kind of found all the cool Japanese Nintendo and anime stuff like from grade seven onward. So my first Animal Crossing game was actually New Leaf in high school, um, but I also have Happy Home Designer and I've played Amiibo Festival an ungodly number of times. I know so many people hated Amiibo Festival, but I, we have unlocked almost everything on that game. I've played it so many times. It is the most wholesome, calm, wonderful board game. And I love that Lottie is a fashion blogger. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Anyway, so really, really, really love Animal Crossing. And also, Animal Crossing has kind of just become like, since that moment on, kind of became like my whole aesthetic and everything I enjoy. Like when I got my townhouse, this place, I was like, okay, I want to have different themes for different rooms, but the overarching ideal was like furniture you could find in Animal Crossing. Cake bed, bunting, happy flower citrus stool. I could just pre-order it, but I want to make a big video um, definitely the first day that I like, like on the 20th, I need to make a video exploring it for the first time with all of my emotions and just it's going to be the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> anyway, so look forward to that. March 20th, I will film it and it will come out probably that week. I do have a Switch, which is great. Steve and I actually went splitsies on a Switch uh, Christmas of 2018. So we were very prepared for the moment Animal Crossing would strike, which is nice because I'm not scrabbling to find a Switch just for the game. Um, I'm glad that I at least did that way back then. So I'm ready to just lose all of my life hours to it. Probably after the fashion show. Ooh, okay, other lifestyle category and also gaming in a different sense. I started playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> okay, so a group of a few of my palsies in fashion school in a couple of the classes and our boyfriends, you know, just a, a, co a cozy little group, cozy little group. I have wanted to start playing D&D, I think since probably I came out of the little dragon womb. I've always been intrigued by it and Honestly, since I can remember, I've been trying to find friends that would play D&D with me. I think sixth, seventh grade was when I got like the player's box player handbook set thing to like start it. And I was just like, please, no one was ever down. Guess what? I'm in a better place in my life where I have cool pals who are down to beat some little trees with me. And oh my God, is it just a fun, creative outlet and like social bonding experience to get into. It's just, I think we need it. I think as fashion students, we need it. And as friends, it's just really, really lovely. So if you're into D&D, you're probably thinking, what's thine character, maiden? <laughs> I can't even speak at a pace. I'm speaking at like Jojo Siwa, James Charles speed. And I really need to, my character is a water genasi sorcerer. Yes, not mage, sorcerer um, named Picelle. Uh, she has water hair, cause water genasi have water hair. I definitely just went on the Instagram like D and D character fan art to try to think like, okay, like how dost one design? I already said I wouldn't talk like that. How do you design a D and D character? How do I do this? What's happening? I feel like this is like a whole world that I know nothing about. But this is my character. At least this is the first art I have made of her. So she has water hair, but it's all bubbly and rainbow and iridescent, and her name's Pisces and she's a Pisces and she kind of talks like this and she's like hey everyone what's going on I don't know <laughs> and I do indeed have some goods <laughs> I did pick up these rainbow pearlescent D&D dice um, I have almost purchased these several times throughout my life like years back before I ever had any friends that would play D&D with me because it's just so delicious looking. I was like, I don't even do anything that requires these types of dice, but they're so pretty looking. I just want to eat them. I have them here happily housed in this little ceramic pink shell soap dish um, that I also got at a thrift store many, many moons ago. I think I actually hauled this 
in probably a thrift haul in like 2017, but I washed out all the soapy soap residue because I was like, how perfect is that for my character? Just like little rainbow pearlescent dice and a little pink clamshell little, little, <laughs> My character is very, very flirtatious. I don't know why. It's just like, whenever you are like picking a voice and picking like an alternate persona, <laughs> I don't know, it's just fun. I also dug this out of my bathroom and I just keep it by me uh, cause it's mermaidy. I don't know, I like it very much. I think this was from Bath and Body Works many moons ago. It is like glittery, shimmery gel that kind of smells like salty, like oceany scent. I don't know. Sometimes I put it on because I'm 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 a big nerd. And I keep them in this little star. And this little star is also very handy for rolling. So you can be like, tee hee hee. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> hmm. I'm rolling persuasion for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. One again? And this is the book in which I keep my D&D &D stories and notes and things on things that we do and things. This is actually a gift from uh, another one of the girls that is in our little groupie D&D &D campaign party thing. I'm sure you guys will remind me the actual word for what that is. Your squadeth. <laughs> oh, I also, since I started playing D&D, &D, I watched the Deerstalker productions, um, those fantastic fellows that used to make all the Lolita, like really fancy cinematic Lolita content. They're doing a D&D &D series right now called All for One, and it's really, really funny, and you guys should check it out if you're into D&D, &D. which I am now, I guess. The only two things I have remaining our music and anime. Gaga has returned with LG6. She has been teasing us with her hashtag LG6 stuff on the Twitter for a while. She released her music video. I watched it for the first time in fashion illustration class. Our um, instructor put it up and I did fall to my knees and I am, I have been thinking every night since that class how I probably was really extra and cried a little bit, but it was Gaga's return from the grave. Anyway, she's back, she's pink, shiny, rainbow, bubblegum pop. She's weird again. I can't even explain what this means to me. I love Lady Gaga so much. I would get a Lady Gaga, like, Whenever I think about like, I would never get a portrait tattoo, but if I had to, I would probably get a portrait of Lady Gaga. Gaga. Oh, and I've been listening to a lot of Steam Powered Giraffe this month. I was into them a lot several years ago and lately I just picked them back up. Very good. They, they're like a singing robot band, but they're it, it, too much to describe. It's a whole experience. If you like camp and musical theater and steampunk, and goofiness. Their music just makes me smile in the mornings when I'm going to school. It's just, I, sometimes you need something that goofy and lighthearted on your radio. And finally, my friends, the thing that, I feel like maybe every Precure fan comments so it feels like a lot of requests, but every Precure fan is still like 50 people. But for you guys, let's talk about healing good so far. And the gummies are peach now, hell yeah. Healing good Precure has been rolling for a bit. What are my thoughts? I'm gonna do this semi-concise, just again, so I don't ramble on for like 10 minutes. Cure Grace, love her. I am really, really excited about the whole like, possible chronic illness past history week health representation. I think that's absolutely beautiful and really, really important. And if Precure is gonna go like, you know, Cure Anthony, we got our man Precure. Cure Soleil, we got our Hispanic Precure. A little bit of representation for like, you know, spectrum of ability. Cure Fontaine I find extremely forgettable. Peggy Tan I find <laughs> kind of like pathetic and I kind of want to kick him. And I'm really sorry, because it seems like everyone online really, really loves the little penguin guy and I just want him to like stop. Nyantaran I would die for, Rabirin I respect. Rabirin is a fairy that's like, doesn't annoy me. I don't necessarily like her, but she seems to like have a strong will. Like I feel like she's, I respect her. I respect tiny bunny woman. Sparkle is my fave. I mean, come on. She's just so funny and wonderful and unique 
and I forget who mentioned it. It was either Magical Cinnamon or Azen Zone mentioned that she seems like she has several traits of ADHD and might possibly be some sort of representation for that. I don't know, with the themes of healing good and healing the environment, healing animals, and the whole doctorly theme, again, I agree that I don't think it's that much of a stretch if they went into mental health territory. That is also just kind of my little hopeful pixie heart who uses Precure to cope with lots of mental illness things, but I feel like that would be really, really progressive for Precure. It's definitely not my favorite. Ugh, like I'm not dying and quaking and shaking. I really, really am enjoying Healing Goods so far, but I'm still kind of like, if I had to give it an out of 10 rating right now, I'd give it a 7. This video's Peachy Confetti Club member is Cloudnado on Instagram, who did this absolutely precious illustration of the whole Pixie fam as Animal Crossing characters. I saw this on, ins not Instagram, the Twitter, and I retweeted it, but here it is. Ah, oh, just so, so cute. We have, I believe that's kind of Nikoi, but a ragdoll cat, either stickers or Nico, in like the cutest little, cutest little daisy pattern situation. We have Steve and I, and of course, the Neenster. I love my little tattoos. They're like cute little stickers. I just love it so much. Oh my God. Can you imagine if we, in Animal Crossing, you can draw over the whole body? If we had body paint, <laughs> Animal Crossing tattoos. Oh, also, did I not bring up at all that gender's gone in Animal Crossing? <laughs> what a time to be alive! I love you guys all so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!